Welcome to our video on Scenario Manager. Scenario Manager is a tool that we can use to help us determine what would have happened if, if this scenario happens, how does it impact uh, certain numbers or certain fields within our sheet? And every scenario can be different. You can be running scenarios on if we sell more product, if we sell less product, if we sell more tickets, if we move to another venue, all, all different types of what if analysis. The benefit of what-if analysis, it helps provide you with some information. In today's video, we have a grade book um, with a series of students and their grades. We're going to focus on student 10. Here, student 10 has a 76.74%, which translates to a C. All of this is calculated through different formulas. But what I want to focus on is the three quizzes that student 10 missed. They didn't show up to class and they got a zero. And the question I have is, what would have happened if they would have shown up and just gotten a 50%? So we're going to run a scenario that says, what would have happened if this student would have basically just walked into class and, and got a 50% on these quizzes? So to do this, we're going to start by clicking the data menu and what if analysis. And we're going to do scenario manager. We want to add a new scenario. And we can name this scenario something that's relative. And I'm going to say 50% on missed quizzes. So that helps us understand what this scenario is running. Changing cells. What cells do we want to change? Well, we want to change the three cells that were zeros. In this case, it's G, H, and I, 13. So we're going to select those cells. And we're going to tell this OK. Now it's asking us, what do we want to change it to? If we scroll up in our sheet, we can see that the quizzes are worth 10 points. So I'm going to just say that the student got a 5 out of 10. Again, that's only a 50%. We'll tell this OK. And now when we're done, we want to click Summary. If you click Show, it will change your sheets. But by clicking Summary, it'll create us a new sheet with the summary. So I'm going to say summary. It's going to ask us which resulting cell we want to see the result in. In this case, I'm going to select two of them. I'm going to see both the percentage and the letter grade, um, just because I want to see both of them. I'm going to head and click OK. And now you can see that here, our current values, 0, 0, 0. The student has a 76.4, and they get a C. If they would have gotten 5, 5, 5, or a total of 50, 15 points, they'd gotten an 80% and a B. And so the scenario manager created a new scenario summary sheet. It did not impact or change our grades, but it gave us data to understand what would happen if a different scenario played out. And you can play these after the fact, or you can play them before the fact to help you make some decisions. Again, um, I understand that the scenario manager here, when you want to see this report, you can change the name here and say final letter grade to make this a little easier to read. But by default, you can just see how the scenario manager is going to put the cell references in there. Super easy to do what if analysis on changing scenarios. If you need to, you can run multiple scenarios at the same time. hundred percent on missed quizzes. And we're going to change the same cells. Say okay. And now we're going to make these 10 out of 10 out of 10. Say okay. Click summary. It's going to ask us resulting cells. Again, we want to see how it changes our percentage and our letter grade. We say okay. And even if the student got a perfect, they still would end up with a B. Multiple different scenarios, one view to compare our current status and any different multiple scenarios that we might have.